I'm Simone from Pinch a Penny Gardener. In today's episode, I'm going to show you how to make a plant stand out of this flatbed. You're going to need a few supplies to get started, so let me show you what you're going to need. You're going to need to have some zip ties, you're going to have to have a staple gun, and you're going to need some flower pots, and of course, you're going to need a flatbed. Okay, so for my flatbed, I actually shoveled it into the ground. So I dug a hole, I put it in, and then I put the dirt over it so that it's really sturdy. It cannot move. I did this because I'm in South Florida, and you know what time it is, hurricane season. So I just wanted to make sure it would not move. So I actually put mine in the ground here. It's pretty sturdy. You don't have to do that. Some people can lean it up against the fence. Some people just want to just have it there just for show, but I went ahead and I did mine like this. Okay, to get started, you're going to need to have your zip tie, you're going to need to have your staple gun, and you're going to need to have the flower pots again. Now, the one thing about the zip tie is you need to make sure that you know which direction the zip tie goes in, because you can put it in this way, which is the correct way, or you can put it in this way, which it will not really stay. It won't stay this way, it won't move the way you need it to move. See, it gets stuck. So what you want to do is make sure that you have the flat side of the zip tie facing you when you put it on your flat bit. So like that, it goes in, and you see now it's stuck. It'll move. It'll hold in tight. So just make sure that when you have your zip tie, you have it going in the right direction. And again, that's the flat side. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just take my zip tie. I know the flat side is facing me and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna staple it here to the center of my flatbed. Simple, right? I'm also gonna do another staple just to make sure it's securely in there. So, I think that it's best when you do it that you do one on the outside to cover both of them and then you do one where you have it inside the plastic. So like that, it's more secure in there. So if you look, one of the staples is over it, then the other one is inside the plastic itself. So it's stapled again to the flatbed. The next step is to take your flower pot. I was lucky, I have a flower pot that has a flat end, but again, you know, this is from all the plants that I bought when I go to the stores, and I decided just to keep them, and I'm gonna take this flower pot, because it's flat. You don't have to have a flat one, you could have a round one, but the flat one for me works best and you're gonna go ahead and take the zip tie and just put it around and zip it through. And that's pretty much it. Your flower pot now is attached to the flat bed and you can put your dirt in here and grow your plants. Okay, so now I'm gonna take the rest of my flower pots and I'm gonna attach them like I did previously onto my flat bed. But there you have it, a simple way to make a plant stand out of your recycled pots. This has been Simone from Pinch a Penny Gardener, and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel.